Good morning, everyone. It is a little before 7 along the Texas Gulf Coast here south of Houston. And I would like to show you a little bit of my garden. I garden in zone 9A and it is, like I said, along the southeast part of the Texas Gulf Coast and it is a hot and humid climate with clay soil. And I garden specifically for butterflies and hummingbirds. So the first plant that I'd like to show you is what's called, it's native to Texas, and it's called a Turk's cap. And as you can see, it has a lot of red flowers on it. And it is a pollinator attractor. All kinds of pollinators from bees to wasps to butterflies to hummingbirds they all love this plant and the nice thing about it is it flowers a lot we're in midsummer here towards the end of July where it is hot and humid each day So I'm going to turn the corner here and I have three trellises of coral honeysuckle. This is also native to Texas, East Texas, and it is also a pollinator attractor. You can see these long tubes of red flowers, hummingbirds, butterflies, bees. Bees will come down here at the edge and um, get the nectar. But I have three trellises. I have these two above ground in pots because over here it can get really soggy and we have really thick clay soil. And I have this one, these in the ground here. And they are really enjoying this spot. This little corner of my yard is um, full sun during the summer and full shade during the winter. So the next plant I'd like to show you is this very large plant. Ooh, it's gonna flower, starting to flower here. Very nice. This is a large giant milkweed. We have grown lots of monarch caterpillars on these in the winter time under grow lights very successfully. They have very large, thick leaves. One plant can easily sustain lots of caterpillars. And I have a couple of these plants. And I have one over on the north bed. So coming around. This plant is not flowering today, but it is a hardy hibiscus, which is getting eaten. It is a host plant to some butterflies, but it's also getting eaten by a grasshopper. And I have a stand of tropical milkweed. Both the red flowers and the yellow. I think I have 
14, 16 good sized milkweed plants in here. And then I want to show you back here. This is a, called a fire bush. And I have three of them back in here. And they, it's really early in the morning. So right now, all we see is the bumblebees. So there's lots of different types of bees and pollinators, even, even butterflies like firebush. And I have three of them. This, and then there's a, another variety with a larger leaf back on the side there. I'm going to come back around here. And here is the second firebush. You can see the, the flowers are tubular. But that doesn't hurt the bees any. They go for the right where the flower meets the stem there and get the get the nectar. And back here I have what's called a cardinal climber. And this is a tropical plant that we grow from seed each year and it's trellised up and it flowers profusely during the hummingbird migration and the the flowers are um, red tubular flowers that attract the hummingbirds but what's interesting is the bees also really like this plant um a little bit of die off here and that's because i had something sever at the ground multiple stems and I think it was during our heat wave here, even though I have bird baths and water, um, they were severing the stems and drinking the water because they're severed down there, which is really unfortunate because this was just gorgeous and there's some, some die off now. But in another month or so, when the hummingbirds start to migrate, I have another huge, um, trellis of this and then on a fence on the north side so we'll have lots of cardinal climber for them when they come through again and then in my north bed I have kind of a smattering of things I have pentas and some April nights salvia you can see the pentas are blooming very nicely And then I have a couple of butterfly bushes. They're not doing the best back here. I don't know if they're not getting enough sun or if they're getting a little bit too much water. I have put in drip here recently, so I need to figure that out. And then I mentioned my two large giant milkweed. They're kind of just two stalks. <laughs> Whereas this one is um, multiple, multiple branches, nice and healthy. All right. Well, I did want to share. This is just in the, what we call the south bed. And just wanted to share different parts of our garden. So hope you all have a great day.